What's up, YouTube? This is Quan Urban Sports. We're coming back to you guys with another quick review. Um, as I said in my last video, I do apologize for not being able to get a lot of footage of you guys out of water. I've had some GoPro issues, and as a result, I really haven't been able to film. Um, however, I'm ordering a new GoPro here next week. We can get back on the water. We can get back to it. So let's get forward to it. As you can see, um, I got something in my hands here that's kind of small and weird, kind of funny looking. Uh, and that's what I want to review today. And what it is, I'll show it to you guys up close, the VMOV uh, fishing pliers. If you've noticed, I'm not a big guy. I'm only six feet tall. These are really, really small. Let me put them over there so you can see just how big they are. They're five inches long. Um, they're only $16.99. And the thing that I like about them is for $16.99, I get two of these guys. Let's talk about the specs on this guy. Pretty simple, like I said, five inches long. They might weigh all up two, or two and a half, three ounces. Um, they are stainless steel with titanium plating. Um, what else? Let's talk about the specs. We have, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see here. If you look closely, you got small split ring pliers. If you also look, this right here is actually a blade for cutting braid and mono or whatever any other type of line you're using to be quite honest and then if you look down at the bottom right where my little finger is that's also a hook cutter so how do they perform in all these functions i'll be honest with you i've used the split ring pliers work great i use these actual cutters all the time um what i like about these is the fact that they're small i have two of them and what i've done with the two that i have one of them stays attached to my life vest from when I'm out on the kayak. And this pair, it comes with a little sheath. This pair goes with me whenever I'm fishing from land. That's the pros. It's small. It's, it, it, they're small. Um, they're light. You don't feel them there. It's not something that you feel a little com com cumbersome with. Uh, however, they do the job they're designed to do. The split rings. Great, but they work for small ones. But small ones, great when you pan fish and that type of deal. For cutting line, that's what I love these for. Whenever I have to re-spool, do anything where I gotta add a whole new, where I gotta take off some line because it's gotten frayed on the rocks or freaking toothy critters gotten to it and screwed it up or any reason, I have to cut something off and put some more line on, or just cut off a bait and put some and tie a new bait on. These suckers make my life real simple. There's no more using my teeth to cut something. Not only that, I don't have to carry a pair of scissors to cut something anymore either. I love that about these. I will say I have not had the opportunity to try out well, how well they cut hooks. What I have cut with these is the wire that I use to make my inline spinners. And it works just fine. No problem at all. Um, as far as the cons of these, well, one more pro. I like this. If you look at it, I don't know if you can really see it, but see this thing right here? It, that's a little latch just to keep them closed, which is freaking awesome. One more thing, I don't have to worry about them getting hung up on something when I'm walking. Um, however, just because they're cheap and they're small and they do those things doesn't mean they're a jack of all trades. You know how these people try to get you to buy a multi-tool and say, it's a multi-tool, it can do everything. It can deliver babies and, and, and go and heal the world. No. Not gonna happen with these. I closed them for you to take a look at them. One of the problems with these is that they are so small. They're really thin. And what we naturally do as people when we're doing something like removing a hook or when you're trying to grab something with this little thing is you grab it tight. And if you look, the fulcrum on these guys is way back here. That's your fulcrum. That's your point where they, the access point. Best way to explain it. Uh, as a result of that, in the case of a normal player pliers, the teeth on the top and the bottom, the teeth normally go flush against each other like, like this. So when they go like this, if you squeeze them tight, you don't have to worry about them breaking because there's no space in between. However, with these, because this is the only space where the actual jaws and teeth of the pliers meet, they tend to be easily broken up here. When I first purchased these, one of the things I looked at is all the bad comments. And the one thing that everybody had in common was the fact that they would break right here. 
And that's just because of their design. People are holding them too tight. They're not designed for that. These are not designed to remove hooks, even though in the description they say they're great at removing hooks. That's a load of crap. That's not what they're designed for. They're not good at removing hooks. And the reason why they're not good at removing hooks is because when you get this in a fish's mouth, that little bitty section is all you have to grab the hook with. For that reason, I don't carry these along. I also have another player of either Hemos or I have another tool similar to these that's better designed for removing hooks. And I'll do another review on that another time so you guys can see it. Uh, that's the only kind with these guys. If you got somebody with little hands, um, if you have kids who are into fishing, these are freaking awesome for them. You don't have to worry about them hurting themselves. You don't have to worry about them being too big and cumbersome where they can't use it. Um, I can say my seven-year-old can use these with no problems whenever he has to cut off a lure and tie on another. No problems whatsoever. And they cut through braid. They cut through mono. They cut through fluorocarbon. And I've cut through wire with them with no problems at all. I just have not cut through anything the size of a hook just yet. Uh, beyond that, like I said, because of that one issue, I have to give these guys a three and three. Matter of fact, I can't even, I'll say about a 2.8 out of five because of the problem with the fact that the fulcrum is so far back and you have to worry about the stress points here where they'll break and the fact that I can't remove a hook with these. Uh, if I took my time and kind of practice, I'm sure I could, but why waste my time? That's the why I just carry it around some hemos. They work. So, the V-Maw fishing pliers, they are saltwater resistant because they have that titanium plating and they are uh, stainless steel beneath the titanium plating, uh, which I don't care about. I live in Michigan. I don't fish in the saltwater. Uh, but, if you do, these are a great little tool to keep around specifically if you just need something to be able to cut line and to get it done fast and you don't want to use your teeth or carry sharp scissors around, something that can stab you in the leg while you're on the kayak. Freaking perfect. Um, one other thing, with mine, I put one of those little split rings, a bigger one, right through this little hook and I tethered it to my um, my, my fishing vest, my uh, flotation device, my, P my PFD, excuse me. And they're perfect. I don't have to think about them. I know where they are at all times. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that sheath and actually sew it to my PFD. And then I can just slide them right in there and they're good to go. And like I said, this guy goes with me whenever I'm fishing from the bank or if I'm in a big boat and I got my, my tackle bag with me. Freaking great. Uh, beyond that, if you guys have any comments or have had any experiences with these, please feel free to comment below. I got you back. You know I'm going to come back and comment immediately after you comment. Um, be, and... Not only that, but don't forget to like, subscribe to this video, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all the support I've gotten from you guys. And, I, and you know what? Uh, don't forget to comment below as to whether or not you've had experience with these guys, whether or not you love them, whether or not you hate them. Uh, and, and other than that, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and have an awesome day out in the field. And don't forget to take a kid out with you next time you go.